So this video is about structural induction, trees, and something we call the heap property. So what's the heap property? In this case, it says that we label all the vertices of a rooted tree with integers uh, so that a vertex has a higher label than its children do. So just to have some notation, let's say that our label is n of v for vertex v. OK, I said this was about structural induction, so what are we trying to prove? Our claim is the root has the highest label. So either this whole thing, this whole thing feels very unintuitive and confusing, or maybe this claim feels obvious. Um, hopefully, either way, um, some clarity will come with the proof. Uh, but let's just sort of draw out an example first. All right, so here's a rooted tree. This is the root. Has some children. Maybe they have children like this. OK. And our only property here for labeling these is this heap property. So if I label these 1 and 2 and 1 and 3 and 1, OK, so this vertex needs a label that's higher than 1 and 2. So it could be labeled 3. This one needs a label that's higher than 1 and 3 and 1, so I'm going to label it 5. This one I can label anything I want. I'm going to label it 2. This vertex has to have a label higher than 2 and 5, so it could be 6. This one could be 7. This one can be anything. I'm going to label it uh, 1. So this one needs to be uh, higher than 3 and 1 and 7, so maybe it's 8. You know, in this tree, as we worked through that, we got the highest label at our root. We can sort of see why, right? We keep getting a higher label as we go up from the children. Um, but we want to prove formally that this label at the root is the highest one. So let's do that with structural induction. So what's our base case? Well, our base case for a rooted tree is just the single vertex. Well, there's no other vertex to compare it to. So the root has the highest label because it has the only label. So that's pretty boring. What about the inductive step? So using our recursive definition for a rooted tree, right? We build a rooted tree by connecting um, several rooted trees to a new root vertex, right? We have some trees, they all have roots, we take their roots and connect them to our new root. So we assume true 
we assume that that our statement that the root has the highest label is true for all these trees that we're connecting. So let's say they have roots uh, R1 through Rn, just so that we have names for them. And this root we're going to call R. So we want to show that n of r is greater than n of v for any other vertex v. Well, we have a couple of cases here. Either Let's say the first case, v is 1 of r1 through rn. In this case, this is true by our heap property. Right, these roots are r1, r2, up through rn. Right, they're all connected to r. They're its children. So this is, this is true by heap property. What if it's not this case, though? What if v not is, isn't ri, isn't some root of t1 through tn? Um, then v is in one of those trees. Right, it's somewhere down here. So let's say this is v in Tn. Well, we assumed that our claim was true for all of these trees. So the label of the root in the tree that it's in is greater than the label of V. But by the heat property, the label of our root is greater than the label of the root of that tree. So n of r must be greater than n of v. So we've proved it. Um, and the heap property uh, for a rooted tree guarantees us that the root has the highest label.